is going on, everybody. It is a boy, you man. Back at it with another video, and today we're continuing our WWE 2K24 Custom Universe Mode uh, gameplay episode 33 now. But the beginning of the video. So guys, uh, if you are wondering where the Friday the 13th um, uh, highlights video is, it, it will be coming out soon. Probably some uh, later today or tomorrow. One of the two. Um, also, the Virgin Tools app! And 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 also, maybe I'll put these two back on recommend it. And more people, maybe they can do it. That's you! Uh, but with that being said, guys, let's get right into it. Yeah! Or just leave over a comment in the matches you would like to see down below. But if you recall, a few weeks ago, ladies and gentlemen, we had a debuting A Rob Goes A Wall 1. The social media championship from Zach Bowler beating, um, and then beating him in ending the longest reigning social media championship reign in history of this universe mode. And he is putting the title on the line, delivering his first title defense, uh, because Zach Bowler is using his rematch clause. So, uh, yeah, and this is a Rob Goes A Wall second match of the evening. Uh, sec no, not second match of the evening, sorry. Second match uh, in once in his uh, rival in Fantasy Wars. So, and with that being said, guys, we got lots of matches on this card. We have three more matches we will be spectating, and all the rest uh, we will be simulating, which we only have two. Oh, Zach Goler, the former champion, starting off this match strong and just throwing a Rob goes a roll right into the corner and then a punch to the face. Now a springboard, clothesline right to the face, barely catches A-Rob. Now Zach, the former social media champion, going to the top turnbuckle, looking for a diving moonsault. Wow, he was flat with that. One, two, to become a two-time champion. No way, A-Rob able to get the shoulder up. And then, oh, as a hold of the arm, and a monkey flip. Oh, but A-Rob kicks back right up to his feet and then delivers a clothesline. This match starting off very fast-paced. Then, oh, Zach Guller. Oh, inverted suplex. Followed by an elbow drop. Nope. A-Rob able to move out of the way. Punch to the gut. Nope. Knee to the gut. Overhand chop. Full kick. Oh, knee right to the face. Then going for the cover. One. Oh, kick out from the champion. The defending champion, I should say. And oh wait, belly to back suplex. Puts Zach Guller down. A-Rob gets kicked in the gut. Oh wait, hold on a second. Got to the arms. Hooked in a pedigree. Gets delivered. Now, Zach going for his finisher. The back talk commence. Oh my goodness. Are we going to have a two-time social media champion here? One, two... Oh, 2.999. A-Rob just barely able to kick out there. Then going for cover. Wait. One, two. Oh, only a one count. Zach Oler's still in this. And now, inverted atomic drop. Followed by a second Then bringing Zach Guller right to the middle of the ring. But Zach immediately pops right back up to his feet. Punch to the gut. And now Zach gets locked in a sharpshooter. Will A Rob go Zay Wall make a Zach Guller tap out? And will he retain his championship? No. Zach able to just break out of it barely. And then, oh, wait. Countering into a DDT spikes Zach right on top of his head. Then dragging Zach right into the middle of the ring, even though he could have already done his move. But okay. Oh, Zach Guller delivers an inverted atomic drop on his own uh, of his own. A Rob goes against the ropes, but A Rob ducks the shoulder and sends him flying to the outside. Now A Rob punch to the face, belly to back suplex. This time on the brick floor. Then a kick right to the back. 
excuse me, I just burped on my stomp to the back of the head now. Ugh, me. And now Irish whipping Zach over right into the skill steps. Go for the cut. Uh, no, uh, a three count. You can win the match by count out, but you cannot win the championship by count out, unfortunately. Oh, is A Rob? Oh, goes for a diving crossbody, but Zach able to move out of the way and deliver a body slam right on the outside. He says, Payback for dropping me on the brick floor earlier. Zach tosses A Rob out back into Zelina. Oh, wait, clothesline. Takes A Rob down, now stomping the face. But, oh, punch right to the gut. A Rob. Okay, what was that? I don't know. Punch the face. Oh, wait. Oh, what a cutter of some sorts. Or a BFT to kick out. Oh, Zach barely just be able to kick out there. That was really close. Zach. Oh, now has a submission of his own locked in. A figure four like lock is locked in. Will A-Rob tap out and will we get a two-time champion? Our first ever two-time social media champion? No. A-Rob able to reverse the pressure on the legs of Zach Miller. And then a clothesline. Nope. Able to duck under spinning kick right to the gut. Then going for a second. Back talk. Commence. One. Two. Three. Zach Guller is a two-time Social media champion and A Rob it goes A Wall suffers his first loss. I'm wow. Uh, okay, so um uh, uh, looks like A Rob goes A Wall was a transitional champion. Uh, uh oof uh, uh oof um, I didn't control, I don't control any of these matches. I would just like to win that out, but I'm generally shocked by that. Okay! So, um, I don't know if A-Rob goes AWOL and gets a rematch clause because he lost the championship in his first style defense. Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen. Our next match is a grudge match. Hello, attacking Jax on the Fantasy Wars right before the, uh, pay Friday the 13th pay-per-view. Uh, led to this match here today with he, him being accompanied by Official Astro, which Official Astro and Hello have been having a complicated friendship as of late where Hello has refused to shake uh, Astro's hand and has kept on evading him. But Jack's here having another match. Uh, last time we saw him, he had a great match against Barney. He put on a good fight, but he unfortunately lost that battle. Can he put win? Uh, can he get his winning momentum back? We'll have to see. But uh, yep, let's get this thing started. So there's Jax, and then out. Uh, next is Hello, as I said before. But, uh, hold on a second. I need to pull the drink. Take a drink more of water. Water. And there's Hello right there. Hello representing the circle, and Jax representing Task Force X. Let's go. And then, oh, hold on a second, Jax, starting off this match strong, the former 2K champion spinning head scissors, playing it's hello. Then, oh, hello, Irish whips, Jax out of the ring, but Jax able to hang on for him right to the face. Oh, went for another one, but hello, just able to move out of the way, punch to the back. Jax now, oh, gets kicked right in the face, hello. Oh, Tornado. Oh, no. Able to move out of the way. Wait, Tornado! Oh, into an arm bar. Will Hello tap out and will Jax win this? Oh, no. Hello able to just barely escape out of it. Springboard crossbody. Takes down Jax. Then stomp to the arm. And another stomp to the arm. But Jax now kips up to his feet. What a drop kick. But Jax is still standing. Then, oh, forearm to the face. Hello, oh, went for a stomp to the arm, but oh, both of them were for kicks, uh, kicks in sync right there. Oh, Jax now throws Hello out of the ring. Oh. Will Jax win by count out here? Two. 
But Jack's, uh, hello, kipping up to his feet now. But suicide dive takes hello back down. Right to the back of the head. That hurt. Oh, kicks the leg. And then tornado DDT on the outside. That's even worse than a belly to back suplex because that aims for the head. Oh, hello getting thrown to the outside a little farther. Well, like I said, there's uh, quite, uh, two more matches out left after this. So that we will be spectating running Hurricane Runner right there by Hello. Now, what does Hello have planned here? Oh, kick to the leg. Jab and a bunch of combinations there. Followed by a springboard crossbody for the second time. This time to the back area. But hold on a second. Jack's playing possum. A roll up one. Oh, kick out catch one from Hello. Oh, went for his basement drop kick to the face, but Hello able to counter. And now, oh, insult to injury, delivering the same move Jax did, uh, did to him earlier, a spinning head scissors. Then, oh, not done yet, doing it yet a second time. Oh, just landing Jax on his back. Getting the former 2K champion up to his feet, Wheelbarrow. Oh, low super kick right to the face. And I don't know how they got to the, their feet that early. Oh, my goodness. Axe just grabbed the leg of Hello, but Jax takes advantage. Axe, uh, Axe helping out Jax here. That was a close call there. And then, oh, wait, what's this? Jax. Oh, I headbutt right to the ribs of Hello. Taking advantage off after Axe helping uh, but hello out. Uh, oh, not hello, sorry. Jack's out, sorry. Uh, oh, now has a whole leg. Just twisting the ankle right off the bone almost. It just, ooh, vicious stuff right there. Then, oh, pop up her can run. And Jax now gets his neck snapped. Oh, wait, playing possum yet again. Going for a second roll up. One, two, Kick out by Hello. That was another close one. Excuse me. Oh, sweeping the leg. Stomped right to the arm. Hello. Kick to the gut. Sunset flip. Power bomb. Plants Jax. Jax now forced to roll out of the ring. Hello calling him up to his feet. Hello. Suicide dive. Tornado DDT. Spikes Jax. But, oh, wait. Jax able to come back into that real quick and just sweep the leg from underneath Hello. And now just twisting the arm here. Oh, my goodness. Stomp to the leg as well. Oh. Now, oh. Pulling the leg. And pulling the leg a second time. Oh, Hello goes face first into the ring post. Come on, don't win by count. Eight count. Is Jax about to win by count out? Okay, I cannot let any matches end by count out. Sorry, no. That's not happening. Okay. I will not let that happen. Not on my watch. Okay, back to it. Hello. Now springs back into action. Oh, running Hurricane Rana of his own. But Hello now rolls out. Oh. Oh, elbows right to the gut. By the newcomer. And Jack. Hello going for a third springboard crossbody. But Jax now rolls out. Oh, springboard crossbody to the outside. They're like a mirror. They're like a mirror image, almost the same exact person. Will Barrow, super kick right to the face again for a second time by Hello. And the jawbreaker on the outside. I don't know how Jax is awake, but okay. Oh, wow. What a gr elevated DDT on the floor. Oh, my goodness. Do not win by counter. Throw him in the ring. Throw him in the ring. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. Please thank everything. <laughs> thank everything. Jax O now going to the top turnbuckle. What's he looking for? Going for his famous 450 elbow drop. 
One, two, three. Jack's able to get the victory, and Hello's losing streak unfortunately continues. But you gotta give dividends to Axtro because he helped Hello in that. Uh, he no, he didn't help Hello. He helped Jax in that matchup. So maybe if Jax and Hello have a match without Axtro, will Hello maybe beat Jax? I don't know. Maybe next week uh, we can do a uh, or no or, or over the coming weeks I should say we should have we could have a false count anywhere match. You know. Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen, let's um. Let's uh, now go to our next match, which I'm, I'm a, I'm a. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's do a transition to Shazami. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we go with the third match of the night, and it is an open challenge for the Women's Intercontinental Championship that is currently held by Uchaka Uraka. Who accepts the challenge? Da 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 da. And, oh wait, I hear the music starting to kick in, and oh my goodness it is! It is Ellie from The Last of Us making her long-awaited return to Fantasy Wars. If you recall, last season in WWE 2K23, she came in a little bit later in the season, um, and had a few matches uh, at the end of the season, particularly at WrestleMania for the per particular championship she is going for here tonight and uh, she was unsuccessful but she wasn't pinned in that triple threat match and can tonight be the night where she wins her first title in fantasy wars we'll have to see oh my goodness i just dropped the remote <laughs> all right let's get this match started shall we all righty and then we still have one more match after this to watch and then we have a few more matches to simulate as well all right I'm trying to burp. Darn it. Why isn't that working? Um, all right. Let's get this thing underway. And, oh, Ellie starting things off strong with a vicious spear. Excuse me. Uh, punch to the face now. And Uchaka making a comeback. Gut wrench. Suplex plants the challenger. And then followed by a front neck chancery of some sorts. Whatever that news is called. Uh, Ellie able to kick Uchaka away. Punch. No. Punch of her own delivered by Chaka. Ellie now the challenger getting kicked right in the back of the head. My goodness. Oh, wait. Uchaka following it up with a sliding German suplex right on the back of the neck of Ellie. Ellie now back into the corner. Wait. Kick right to the gut. Oh, went for another kick to the gut, but gets kicked in the leg instead. Oh, wait. Back elbow. The challenger. Harsh whips Uchaka right into the ring. Oh, spear right there. Oh. Stomp right to the gut. Oh. Forearms. Oh, wait. Overhead belly to belly by Uchaka. Then Ellie forced to roll out of the ring. Oh, wait. Back elbow by Uchaka, though. Then a side Russian leg sweep on the outside. Snog to the arm. Then Ellie slams the arm of Uchaka on the ground. Ellie now. Oh my goodness, what the heck game. Uh, gets, uh, Ellie gets elbowed in the gut right now. <laughs> what was Uchaka doing there? I was so confused. Anyways. Oh wait, now as a whole the leg of Ellie, a single leg. Uh, heel hook is locked in, but Ellie able to immediately break out of it and deliver punches right to the face of Uchaka. And another spear takes Uchaka down. Oh, Irish whip. Oh, followed by a pullback into a shoulder barge. Wait, Uchaka counters Ellie with a step up in Zagari going for the cover. Is this enough to win her for, uh... De uh, deliver her first tile defense. No, Ellie able to kick out. And then, oh, Ellie now. Clothesline. Not done yet. Another clothesline. Ellie's on a comeback trail right now. Uchaka forced to retreat into the corner. And now a spear right in the corner. Oh, not done yet. Doing a backflip into another spear in the corner. That was really cool. And then, oh, not done yet. Pendulum. 
backbreaker walking around with the lifeless corpse of Uchaka, then delivering another pendulum backbreaker. Oh, went for a stomp to the arm, but it misses. Punch right to the back. Stomp to the arm. Ellie now get it, dragging Uchaka to the middle of the ring. But Uchaka immediately back up to her feet. The challenger now, oh, gets countered by the champion reverse DDT. Oh, what's next here? Irish whip, or whip, if you will. Knife edge chop. Oh, now Uchaka starting to come back of her own. Oh, leaping over Ellie. Ball by a, oh, flying elbow strike right to the face. The champion is rolling right now. Oh, wait, possum kick. Ellie now slams Uchaka into the corner and then flinging her right back out. Going for the cover. One, two, oh, kick out by Uchaka. Then, oh. Slamming Uchaka's head on the top turnbuckle. Back elbow. Oh, and also, ladies and gentlemen, next week we will have a really stacked card for you, uh, so stay tuned for that as well. So, yeah. Oh, uh, Exploder suplex right into the corner, but Ellie forced to roll out now. Oh, Uchaka, diving elbow drop on the outside. Uh, Barney will be defending his, his title against the King of the Ring, that being SpongeBob SquarePants. So, yeah. Oh, butterfly suplex on the brick floor. Now Ellie gets thrown right across. Three count. Is Uchaka about to retain her title due to count out? That would not be a smart way to retain their title. And another diving elbow drop to the heart on the outside. Um, Uchaka awake gets kicked right in the leg multiple times by Ellie. And Ellie now snaps suplex on the outside, but Uchaka able to move out just in time. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Punch, forearm, knife pitch chop, and then a uh, pendulum backbreaker. Oh, that did, I just realized that did not look good on the leg of Ellie. That, that looks like it. It broke her ankle or something. That looked gnarly. That looks gnarly, man. Uchaka about to retain the title by count out. Oh my gosh, I was about to literally screw my head off if she won like that. Oh wait, Glam Slam. Nope. Hold on, countering into a roll up. One, two. Oh my goodness, that was way too close. Oh, stomp to the face. No. Oh, spear yet again. Oh. Oh, wait. Ellie has Uchaka up the last of us connects one two oh Uchaka able to kick out stomp to the face now following you up with a sit out power bomb not going for the pin though interesting decision oh wait swinging neck breaker oh Dragging Ellie into the middle of the ring now. Uchaka has all the arm. A disarmer is locked in. Will Ellie tap out and will Uchaka retain her championship? No, she's able to break out, but basically drop kick right to the face. Ellie now diving body splash on the outside to the champion. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Not done yet, just showing her strength. Walking around with Uchaka right over her head with a military cross. Oh, Uchaka gets thrown into the ring now. Going for the cover. That can be it. One, 
to oh wow 2.999 right there oh wait not done yet following up with a standing moonsault and then not done yet going for a grounded frog splash as well oh crap oh now these two trend blows right here slap to the face vicious at that oh punch knife edge chop oh these two going back and forth here oh oh knife edge chop again oh wait Oh, just using the back of her hand like a whip right to the back of Uchaka. Now lining her up. Ellie going for a second. The last of us. Boom! Connects to win her the Women's Intercontinental Championship and finally complete her goal. One, two, three! Ellie is your new Women's Intercontinental Nental champion. Wow, what a match and what a return. Winning the championship she tried to win on multiple occasions last season and wasn't able to get the job done, but here tonight she is able to get that job done and win that prestigious championship. Wow, you love to see that. Alright. Uh, taking the drink of water to money. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Next up, we got some matches. We're going to be simulated. We only have two. Uh, we have a tag team number one contender uh, title match here tonight. So we have... Uh, well, actually, it's a warm-up match. It's a warm-up match. Space Jam will getting, be getting their rematch clause against the Teletubbies for the tag titles at the upcoming pay-per-view or a, a episode before the upcoming pay-per-view. And uh, we have them going up against former rivals, that being Pokemon. Let's see who wins here. And maybe we'll have a triple threat tornado elimination match, possibly. I don't know. Oh, Bugs and LeBron prove a statement before their uh, title match. Uh, next up, we have also the Batman versus the Joker. And this is number one contenders uh, match for the Gorilla Society Championship, which will be def defended next week in the match with Andrew putting his title on the line. Let's see who wins this. Will it be the Batman or will it be the Joker? Which one of these two rivals will come out on top and the Joker is able to defeat Batman? Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Now, it is main event time and it is Caleb versus Jason Voorhees. And, uh, Caleb wanted a match uh, because he was complaining a whole lot about how he wasn't featured on the Friday the 13th pay-per-view. So, I gave him a match here tonight against someone that was supposed to be a Friday the 13th pay-per-view, but just didn't, didn't end up making the cut, unfortunately, on the matches. That's being Jason Voorhees. Uh, I will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to go to the bathroom. I don't know why I'm doing this wall. I usually do it during the live streams, but... then ladies and gentlemen I am back and I did not know that I gave Caleb that entrance but I gave I gave him another entrance oh, but there's Caleb uh and then uh as I mentioned before he wasn't on the Friday the 13th um match card um 
but he is here tonight, uh, accepting the open challenge that Caleb asked for, so. That being Jason Voorhees. Which, Jason Voorhees has had a match this season once. Uh, it was at the, uh, in the first episode, I believe, in that gauntlet match, which he was unsuccessful in, unfortunately. So, let's just get this match underway, shall we? <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Oh. Caleb gets kicked right in the gut early on in this matchup, and oh! Gets thrown away like a piece of garbage. And if you recall, remember, Caleb got to the King of the Ring finals before eventually losing to SpongeBob SquarePants. So, Caleb's had a pretty solid season so far. Knife hits chop. Oh. Able to dodge the chop there. Does Jason. Oh, went for a big splash into the corner, but Caleb able to move out of the way. Irish whip. Oh. Oh. Just tossing Jason right into the ring. And then the headbutt. Oh, Caleb. His elbows right in the gut three different times. Oh. Irish whip. Duck under. Big boot. Oh my goodness, just decapitates Caleb there. Oh. Jason gets his arm slammed right into the mat, then kicks the leg. A kick right to the spine as well. Punch. Caleb now dominating Jason, but oh, as soon as I say that, Jason, though, able to come back into this punch to the face. And now Jason backdrop right on the apron to Caleb. And then knee right to the spine. Stomp right to the back as well. And now just a camel clutch is locked in on Caleb. Will Caleb tap out? No. And if he were to tap out, it wouldn't even matter because it has to be in the ring. And then, oh wait, military press ribs first on the brick floor. That, that had to hurt. Oh, knee right to the back of the neck as well. And Caleb moving the right back into the ring. Oh, went for a uh, punch, but Caleb able to move out of the way punch. Then, oh, has all the head and just squeezed in the face of Caleb Paul by an iron claw slam. Wait, one, two. <laughs> um. Oh wow. <laughs> oh. Uh, 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 uh. Oh wow. Oh wow. Um. <laughs> um. I don't know what to say really. Uh, no, what the? Uh, what? Oh, Caleb. Oh, Caleb. Up here on the big screen. Me and Jax are just going to keep this short and sweet. Caleb, next week, me and Jax versus you and any member of the circle in a tag team match. Where if me and Jax win, we get an opportunity to face Barney for the 2K Championship in a number one contenders match. Ooh, interesting. Will Caleb accept the challenge? All right, all right, you're on. And when you see who he is, oh, you're going to be surprised. It is now official. Next week, it will be Caleb and a mystery partner against Jackson Ace. Also happening next week, Clementine will be defending her 2K Women's Championship in an open challenge match against anyone. And Andrew will also be taking on the Joker for the Gorilla Society Championship. Other matches might happen. Who knows? See y'all next week.